Anyway, born in Toronto and never actually planned on being an actor, she wanted to study journalism. But a trip to India to visit relatives changed all that. Spotted, Lisa was asked by a fashion magazine to model. Well, guess what? She landed on the cover. And next thing you know, the Times of India named her one of the 10 most beautiful women of the millennium. Next, knock, knock, knock. Hello, it's Bollywood. But at first, she refused all offers. But eventually, in 2001, she agreed to appear in the picture Kasur. A year later, Canadian director Deepa Mehta cast her as the lead in Bollywood Hollywood. But she's a whore. I remember every woman I ever slept with. So true. For that role, she was voted star of the future at the Toronto Film Festival. From there, Ray moved to London to take formal acting classes, then reunited with Deepa Mehta to star in Water. The film was very controversial. The director received death threats, and the production was moved to Sri Lanka. The film was also praised by many and was just nominated for an Oscar in the Best Foreign Language category. Lisa's latest film is called A Stone's Throw, which is a drama set in Nova Scotia. Uh, it's about an environmental activist with a bit of a sketchy past who then shows up on his sister's doorstep and gets involved with her best friend, played by Lisa. Uh, yeah, is uh, Olivia here? She'll be in later. Uh, who's that at the piano? Um, <laughs> that's... Well, let me introduce you to um newest member of our school community. This is <laughs> Jacob. My friend from out west. Uh, first visit out here? That's right, yeah. Uh, th this is Officer Ted, our local keeper of the peace. Mm -hmm. I like the beard. It's a good look on you. Enjoying the stay with your family? Uh, no family. Just uh, visiting Leah. Oh, well, that's too bad. There's some good folks around here. Yeah. Well, anyway, I should get going. Uh, when Olivia shows up, just tell her I need to talk to her right away. Sure. Pleasure to meet you, Jacob. You too. Good luck with the fundraiser and uh, whatever else you're up to. Was it fun to make a movie where people weren't um, burning the director in effigy? And uh, <laughs> <laughs> you think you were doing a... Well, it was a bit foreign, actually. <laughs> Which is weird, and it's a film that still has a sort of uh, corporate eco terrorism thing going yeah, on. But it has, yeah, exactly. I have a knack of getting involved in projects like that. Uh, yeah. At one point, you're going to say, like, I'm just going to make a movie where the girl falls in love with the guy. <laughs> that's kind of the extent of it. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think that's in the stars right now. <laughs> For people who are just going to tune in this, when this movie opens, they're going to see this interview. Um, give them the movie. Sum it up for them. Well, you know, from my point of view, from my character's point of view, it it, it is a romance. You know, it is very much a love story. But it's also about... Um, Redemption, forgiveness, coming to terms with certain things. Um, that's really an important part of the journey. But of course, it's also like a, I guess you could say, an eco story. You know, it mm -hmm. certainly, you know, brings up a lot of awareness of what's happening, which I think we all, I mean, we're seeing the effects right now, aren't we, mm -hmm. in the world? So it's something that can't be, I think, brought home enough right now. And, and it also kind of explores the beauty of, of Nova Scotia on the East Coast. And this is my first time when I was actually filming this project. It was my first time out in Nova Scotia. Yeah. I'd never been there before. And as a Canadian, that's actually kind of sad. You well, know? Yeah. We, we, but that happens, doesn't it? You know, or we're, such we're, a big we're more yeah, we're more prone to travel. You know, maybe like, you know, to the other side of the mm -hmm. planet than in our own country. And you yeah. spend a lot of time away, like a lot of time. You, you, yeah. Mm -hmm. You like being away. You like having homes in one place. You know, people in Paris, people away, people here, people there, and then coming to Canada every now and then. Yeah. You still like that, or has it was it worn on you a little? No. Not at all. <laughs> Are you lying to me? Not at all. Lie to your family. <laughs> Don't lie to me. Not <laughs> at all. Look into my eyes. Not <laughs> at all. Um, no, I love it. I love it. I'm. Um, I, I I was actually sort of reminiscing with. Um, with a friend the other day and you know a, a lot of people sort of have this tendency to say that well my life didn't exactly turn out the way that I thought it would mm -hmm. you know and there's a certain amount of either whether it's disappointment or you know resentment or surprise but I, I can honestly say my life has turned out better than ever thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were young and it was like 16 or so when you were over there and something happened and someone said hey you want to be a model and da 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 think of how much different your life would have been if your father said 
No. Yeah, exactly. And did he say no enough that you had to convince him, or was he cool with it from the beginning? No, my dad's always perceived the um, inherent Romanian gypsy within me, so <laughs> he's never really tried to stymie me in anything. And um, and you know, my dad's really cool, actually. My it's my dad that's of Indian origin, mm -hmm. so you might you know some sometimes people think that he might be a bit strict, but he's actually a lot more liberal than my mom, who's Polish, Polish yeah. you know. And um, and I guess he had his own dreams when he was growing up, like he always wanted to be a film director, but he became a chemical engineer because that was the right thing to do. I grew up in a neighborhood which was uh, very Indian, very Pakistani, and m we watched a lot of those movies. You uh, did? Uh, yeah, we did, yeah. I, don't even, I didn't understand them. Most of them. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> lots of them. That's much of my neighbors watched. So I would watch them with that. Um, and I love movies, and I've always loved movies, but the one thing I, I kind of wrapped around my head watching those films was I couldn't get into any of the actors because they, they, they seemed like afterthoughts to me. It seemed like that... It seemed like it was... It's all very posed, isn't yeah. it? It's very theatrical, yeah, and they're all dance. sort of interchangeable, you know, you can... Yeah. And yeah. I didn't think that it was very... I mean, movies were entertaining to watch, but I didn't find the people generally very compelling because I couldn't get into them. Like, yeah. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Yeah. Is that part of the reason why you, you walked away from, for lack of a better term, the easy money and, 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 <laughs> and, that, and that path that is that Bollywood thing? Easy, sleazy money. Cheap and sleazy. Cheap and sleazy. <laughs> hey, listen, that's fine for and a easy. weekend, but not, but not for a <laughs> not career. Not for a lifetime <laughs> and a career. Yeah, what can I say? You kind of you kind of hit the, hit the nail on the head, you know, because... Um, I don't know. I just, yeah, I don't buy them. You know, I don't buy that aesthetic. It's a different aesthetic. You know, their their approach to work, and it's really ironic because while I was um, I was working on another film out in Rotterdam just now, and there was a bunch of Bollywood actors that were passing through town. They were doing their little song and dance numbers that they do in the um, in the summer, and. Um, <laughs> That's a different story. We won't get into that now. <laughs> Instead of junkets, you do song and dance. Numbers? Yeah, they they do song and dance. Well, that's it. It's like a song and dance number junket. Okay. Yeah, and they come and they put on these big concerts where they lip sync to their hit song and dance numbers. So it's and like going to a Britney Spears money, show. Make a lot of cash. Did you really? Yeah. Did you ever do that? We'll get into that a bit later. That's a yes, um, by the way. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's a yes. But anyways, yes. what? Yeah, no. So I think it's it's not compelling because having sat down with these with these guys, you know, their um, their reasons, their motivations are completely different. You know, the actual process or art of acting is an afterthought. It's mm -hmm. about money and popularity and and posing, and they're very blatant about it, and I respect them for that. But you know, in the same vein, I'm going to say, I don't want to be a part of that. I respect that you're very open about what you want. I'm going to be very open about what I want. Thank you very Thanks. much. Pleasure. Ciao. Thank you.